blueprint for the engine is in my Bible. The steam engine has to run on compressed air because it's a total fire ban. I cannot start up the, the boiler which is out there and uh, because when there is a good draft makes a lot of sparks so I have a compressor and I have two pressure vessels out there I've got together about 40 gallons volume I pump up to 100 pounds and that's gonna give me probably a minute or two of action so I'm now going to open the valves on the, on the pressure vessel. This is a, this is an old propane bottle, but it's compressed air in there. So right now it's at 100 pounds. Everything is ready for the steam later on, but I have to wait for uh, the fire season to be over. Here I have the compressor, switch from the compressor, connecting the, the engine. We're ready to go. We're going in forwards. Just imagine you're on the boat huh? and it makes a really nice draft right now. So now we are going into reverse. In order to do that we have to stop. Reversing levers. What you hear is the exhaust coming out through these uh, big pipes here. This is a non condensing, double acting piston valve steam engine. It will probably, with steam, it will probably develop approximately 4 horsepower. But that's steam horsepower. To put it into context, the, the Moye over in, uh, in uh, Caslow developed 17 horsepower. test bench represents the full width of the boat, that's seven feet, the actual bench. The overall width of the steam engine from here to the opposite end there is going to be exactly eight feet six inches which is a maximum street legal size. What's going to go onto the boat is this 4x4s, actually not exactly these 4x4s, but new ones which are there against the... Uh, not longer, they're 12 feet high. 
these four by fours. Once I have the steam trials done, I will have to take the whole thing apart. For the, from the paddle wheel, I have to take three paddles on either side off to get them through the doors. I don't have to take this completely apart, but I can take the paddle off with no problem. And once the paddle is off, the, 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 the engine can be uh, individually moved outside. The intake temporarily is going to be through 5 8 copper tubing. This goes into the piston valves. The piston valves, their function, I can show you here on, uh, on paper how they function. This is what it looks like cross cut, so the, the piston valve functions like that. So the, the steam comes out, if I, if I have two outlets here, it's because they're quarter down here, it's only quarter inch and I have half inch uh, inlet pipe, so in order to get the full benefit of the steam, I, I doubled it. After that, when this, once the steam has been used, it goes out through the exhaust pipes. And this is a non-condensing engine, so it's neither condensing nor compound. If a condensing, a condensing engine uh, turns the steam back into water and it can be reused, it's already preheated, this would be an advantage in salt water. Although this is not going to go into salt water. Not in my lifetime anyway. In order to reverse the engine, you have to change the linkages. As you can see here, right now we are in forward motion. And in the back there, you have eccentrics. So, in order that they, they, uh, the, the eccentrics work in opposite direction of each other. So in forward motion, it is this one that's operating and in reverse motion, it's the lower link which is uh, operating. Let's see if we have some steam left. In order to reverse, I have to stop first. So we stop it. We put it into reverse and start it up again. With uh, using compressed air, I have only a very short time where it can be going at full tilt, and that's past now. Uh, as as it gets, as the pressure lowers, there's more. There's there's more. How shall I say? There's more air, but at less pressure, so it's going to be running still quite a bit in slow motion.
my temporary setup. Once the fire pan is off, I will disconnect the air hoses and connect the copper, the copper line going here instead of the air hose. And then we'll have the, the real show. Thank you. 